First off, you know, I would like to say I'd like to welcome my brother, uh, Travis Outlaw. Um, we, we got a lot of history played in, played in high school together. So I, I know this guy whole story. So I just love to uh, catch up and chop it up with him. So just uh, appreciate you coming on, bro. I uh, appreciate you having me. <laughs> you already know. So I always ask everybody at first, you know, I, re I already know, but, you know, just tell me about your background and where you're from. All right. Uh, well, from a, I'm from Starkville, Mississippi. All right. Um, you know, came up in a two-parent household. Right. You know, so that, that's about it. Like, it, it, other than that, man, it's pretty simple, pretty and simple you, from here on out. And you was born uh, born and raised in um, – Start real, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess, you know, the fast forward, did you – and you played more than one sport, right? Because you played yeah. baseball and, and football. So when do you think that you start getting serious about basketball and uh, getting getting passionate about it? Uh, when I couldn't get no playing time in football. Okay. Kind of – got it already kind of decided for me. You know, right. I would like folks when putting me in the game is, you know, doing football the winter season. So – I was too cold half of the time. And my dad was like, yeah, by the time, it just, you know, maybe hone in on one. <laughs> right. So would you say like around in Starkville, uh, what a lot of people won't know, but we know, but was that like around SAY when you kind of caught the bug and just and just started getting serious about it and uh, working on your man. game, so to speak? Yeah, but it more, most most time it came from, man, and I think it stemmed from watching my brother and my dad play. Right. You know, so like watching them play, I, I know I, I didn't mind trying to go out there and cop, imitate them. Right. So you know, just as time go on, hell, I just got good at it. You know, it's like right. oh, we're gonna go hoop. But I basketball, you know, my mom played in college and my dad, so it's right. I ain't know nothing but you know shooting hoops. <laughs> you had it, yeah, you had it in your blood. So right, right. When you got to um, so when you hit your growth spurt. Um, I, you know, you know, I know because one summer everybody was because you know I'm only a year older than you. It was just that one summer we came back. You know, like everybody grew a little bit, but I just remember one summer you just came back and yeah, yeah. Man, you, I think that was my my sixth grade year. Okay. So like, yeah, I think that's when it was. But I, I mean, I always been head of heels, like taller than everybody. Right. You know, it's just it's just really man. I <laughs> That one summer, I think my mom got mad at me because she said, baby, I can't keep buying clothes. Well, I, can't, right. I can't keep buying <laughs> You're growing out your clothes, right. Right, right, right. So, oh. Armstrong, so so let's fast forward. So, of course, sixth grade, you couldn't play. So, Armstrong now, you was already, you know, smaller than everybody now. Was your game already developed when you was at Armstrong or were you still kind of just getting used to, you know, being a guard and now having your ball and still using those things? Oh uh, well, no. Uh, most, but she, I don't know. Sixth grade, I probably could have played with the seven and eight. You know, it was just right. my height made a big. It made a big difference. You know, right. it made a big difference. So, like, usually, what somebody that's that's you know a little shorter, they'll have a hard time adjusting. But my height helped fix a lot of things. So I could be slow and actually still catch up at the rim. You know, right. so I, I mean it. I kind of almost had – I mean, I did play basketball real early, you know, so I kind of had – my skill set was there. It's just, you know, how much I wanted to hone in on. Right. Now, were you already playing AAU in middle school? Uh, AAU – yeah, I think we had I, – a little bit before middle school I played AAU. My dad kind of – he raised a, a member of a team called Bingo World. And he raised raised money for us to travel and stuff. So I, I started playing back like on the circuit kind of early. Right. And um yeah. so middle school, okay, fast forward. So now you get to high school. So I, I've been asking everybody else this, of course I know, but when you got to ninth grade, you know, because of your height and your skill level already, you went straight from middle school to to playing varsity in uh ninth grade. So right, right. What was that um what was that transition like, just going from, you know, middle school, you know, right into high school, playing against, you know, juniors and seniors that already, you know, maybe not as tall as you, but just physically, you know, they got a, a, um, size on you? Well, I mean, it was only a few players that I can say were like, man, that was, he was a tough guard, like even in the ninth grade. But, I, right. oh, man, my dad, he used to take – you know, he took time working with me too. Right. I mean, I, I owed a lot to him. Like, he – 
you know, he, him being a down low player and then my brother playing a little guard. And, you know, it kind of all mixed in a little bit. But for what he taught me, it, it was way past. It helped boost my level to when I was in the ninth grade, I could play with seniors. Right. Now, people don't know, but uh, Travis's uh, brother, John, um, super athletic. Yeah, uh, he was All-American Juco. <laughs> All-American, yeah. Played Juco, and then I think your dad, uh, Mr. Outlaw, played at Russ, right? Russ Collins, yeah. Six, six, yeah, I mean, and if you guys ever seen, I know people might not know, but you ever seen Mr. Outlaw, he's a dude that you definitely yeah. don't want to uh, mess with, the chief of police and starver for many yeah. years, and uh, <laughs> definitely a dude that you don't want to get on his on his bad side. Bad side, right, yeah. right. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, um, you already said, okay, so when you got ninth grade, you said it really wasn't a big adjustment period. So when do you – Well, the game, I guess you would say it was a little bit more, you know, like the speed of the game maybe was a, a, a tad, a little bit faster because you had a couple more athletic players. Right. Now, yeah. when do you think that it just clicked um, for you when, when you just felt like you know that 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 you was head over heels and just felt like you know that that I'm dominating in – in high school, like what year? When did it click? Yeah, like oh shit, it clicked my ninth grade year. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, so like by my ninth grade year, I realized I was like, oh man, this this ain't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Like yeah, like like I'm killing. Yeah, like I was over there, you know, stat line 10, 10, five blocks, and I'm like, oh god, I thought I everybody told me I was gonna be terrible, you know? Right. right. Oh, so yeah. I'm glad. So. I'm, I'm kind of glad that you said that too. So people, like you said, early on when you was, you know, taller, you know, you know, kind of still adjusting, getting used to yeah. your game and, and people were saying things like those people that, that doubted you, did, did that kind of fuel like something in the inside? Like, like I, I got something to prove that I got something to show now, like put a chip on your uh, shoulder. Hey, no, nah, hell no. Nah, my dad, oh, uh, kind of, he sheltered me up from a lot of that stuff, man. Like, okay. you know, he, he made sure, hell, he, my biggest credit was my father, you know? So, right. like, nobody else could tell me what I was doing or what. Like, he always, after every game, come on, let's watch film. You mm -hmm. know, he'll watch film with me. You could have did this. You see your options. Like, he always was that. You know, I ain't never had a chance to listen to outsiders. Right. Yeah. Because you, know, because you knew that your dad had your had your best interest, and he wasn't Yeah, gonna yeah. You. Like, yeah. He, he wasn't going to tell you. always going to be constructive criticism. I'm going to help you right. So, yeah. We played for uh, uh your, um, I don't even know your camera went out. Too. Uh oh, my bad. Yeah, it's it's good. It's still recording. Shit, people can still hear. Um, oh my bad. Stop. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I just saw it on my end. But we played for um two years. My junior year and senior year, we played two years together. Anybody that you know that 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 got film from oh that 2000, 2002 season, it's a you got a whole lot of bodies out there. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> whole lot of whole lot of best. I just had oh, um, I just oh, had man, I remember on. you were telling me, you know, you like, Trey, I'm gonna do the wink, you spin out, and I'm gonna yeah, do like, the real. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't fair, bro. Like, I wish people could see some of that. Like, we asked, like, I, like seriously, like oh. Peyton, like, like, like Peyton. Man, you want me to tell you what I think would probably been our best team? Which one? But it just, just stuff. You remember when we had Joseph Ed when we were super tall? Right. That was. I think that would have probably been our best team. Like we could have matched up with any. We were so big. Right. Yeah. Just, and, and I and I and I always tell Coach Carter to this day, like I hate that. I mean, God rest in peace. You know, like Coach Brooks. Yeah. I hate that Coach Carter. You know, didn't come that uh, first year. He should have came right when he was done with state. I told him that. Right. He, he went like, right on the brand, and like, I was like, "You come on," and then come <laughs> and back like, here my so, senior. Year. I said, "You wasted time. You right, wasted so, a lot of time." I hope you see this and. <laughs> He always say that too that that, that he was that he could coach us. But people that don't know, like we had no, we had no structure. Like we was just nah, running. Well, and you know what I said? I mean, you know, you only can teach what you know. You right. know, and we can't. You can't never criticize nobody for that. Right. Yeah. You know? But that's why yeah. you know everybody that played on that team always said we had structure because the uh, talent was there. Like we had the uh, yeah. Oh man, we were stacked like, with talent. It yeah. Just, you know, we just it didn't was know what to do with it. Together. Yeah. Right. So, but um, you know, them practice was crazy, you know. Right. <laughs> Brooks practice, boy, there's a lot of stuff that goes on at that practice that is. Right, for sure. <laughs> now, you know, going through high school, you dominating, you um at your senior year, um McDonald's All American, played in, in the McDonald's All uh, game, McDonald's All American game with 
LeBron and uh, who else was with that in that, in that 03 class? Yeah, that um Chris Paul, um Kendrick Perkins, Andy Evey. Um man, it's it's a lot more. I'm probably missing. I can't. Yeah, no, no, that was a, uh, Aaron Brooks, my bad. I was right. Aaron that Brooks. Was that class. Now, I know Ooh. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Um when did you know or or did you have an idea that you were going to go pro out of high school? Like, when did you um make that decision? Oh, man, you know, that decision came down on, a lot, like, schoolwork, bro. I, I, they told me, like, 4 a.m. workouts and then going <laughs> to class. I was kind of like that. You know, you know, I'm struggling with grades right now. Right, you know? right. We, you know, I – Let's just go and try to take it to the league. And if I don't make it, you know, maybe we can find some overseas or I just have to grab a job. Right. <laughs> you took to the risk. But, like, before you were, like, did you – um? because, of course, the people – like, now people can't do it. But, of course, at our game, you were looking in the stands and you'll see a, a, a Clipper scout. A, a, a no, Clipper actually, scout. man, I didn't – you know, it took, like – it took some people telling me, man, it was the NBA scout. At the right. game. Most yeah. time, I, only time I saw the NBA scouts was when I was AAU, like playing it. I mean, not AAU, but circuit ball. Right. That's when I saw, like, the Buck scouts and stuff like that there. Right. But, you know, but high school, they kind of came disguised. You know, yeah, they, yeah. They, they did not want people to know who they was. <laughs> right. Right. So, would you say kind of towards, like, the end of your, um, like, like kind of, like, maybe midway through your scene? Because I know you committed to – Mississippi State. Yeah. So did you just kind of make that decision? Like, did, like were you hearing first round or anything? Or, or did you just, like, just, like, go on a win? was like, I'm going all in. Like, I don't care where I end up. Well, oh, uh, I mean, it, you know, it was, it was a feel. You know, we had, we had a couple, you know, after the senior year was over with and stuff, I had a had – a, my dad had a couple agents that reached out to him, you right. know. And, like, you know, I, I hear some – you know, I hear talk about your son. And then, you know, we just explored that option. That, that right. was it. Now, yeah. when you made that um, process and, uh, and uh, came out when you committed early, now, what was that – now, what was that transition like from high school to skipping college? Because everybody I've talked to, you're probably going to be the only – but Taylor get tables on here. He went G League. Yes. But what was that transition like just going from high school – like just straight to the like like what was that first practice or like workout like just oh uh, boy it was like oh let's see probably like a fish out of water you know <laughs> <laughs> right right <laughs> oh god it was uh it was because it was tough Portland, man it was tough because, it was real tough because you went to Portland like wasn't Rasheed was there yeah Rasheed Bonzi yeah, Bonzi yeah okay. So it was definitely like it was over there, like you know, I'm over there trying to listen and soak up like how to lead work and stuff. And they was like, I can't believe you so gullible. And I'm like, well, this is new to me, you know? Right, because right. you, you 18, this, like they, yeah, fast. like I mean, this is I, I'm gonna have to listen to what y'all say. Or I ain't gonna know nothing. <laughs> right, right. So yeah. that first show, uh, you went. What it was? It, was it 22, 23, Portland? What? The uh, pitch. Oh, 23. It was 23. 23 pit, okay. So. Yeah. How long did it take once you was in, like, when you felt that? I mean, of course you got drafted when you belonged, but, like, when did you feel like that you developed and was like, like, I'm, a, like, I, like I'm out here like, and, 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 and I can hold my own? Man, shit, hell, I ain't probably never feel that way, man, because it was just so much, like, being so, you know, first round is good, but being, uh-uh, come back this way, D. But being, um, you know, being young, you know, you you trying to learn too because it's a lot of stuff there. Like you know, it'd be like raw talent. You just raw talent because, you know, learning when to shoot the right shot, when not to shoot the shoot that shot. You know, right. I always right. felt, but you know, my mindset was it ain't. A, it's only a bad shot when it don't go in. Right. You know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you know, when I got out there, I tried to give myself the the opportunity to maybe stay out there, but. Okay. As time went on, you know, I started learning just, you know, I, I grew in basketball. I started learning, okay, this is what they want, this is how they want it. It's just really learning that game from that way instead of being able to play my way through. Right. Now, yeah. of course, the NBA is the the 400-plus best guys uh, in the in the world. At a, um, you was, was it 10 years? Yeah, 10. What do you think was the, the most talented team that you um, played on? Oh, the most talented. I didn't see I got there late with she now, so I, I don't know, right. but man, the stuff. But when they Brandon were doing, Roy came, like that Brandon Roy and 
Lamarcus Aldridge, like that team was. Oh man, that team was pretty good. That was a fun team to play with. Right, man. like that, that, that. But for like, I would say that team was pretty good. But I played with a lot of teams that couldn't, you know, we couldn't seem to find the pieces to get it together. But could have been a pretty good team. But felt right. like politics jumped in it a lot. Right. So, yeah. so, so would you say one of those? Portland teams, maybe you felt like it was was one of the most. Yeah, the the B B Run era was pretty dope. Like he, man, when he came in, because at first I didn't think he was that good. We played one on one, right? Like on the post and stuff. And man, he had some post moves. You know, he had some real good post moves. I'm yeah. like, dang, you know, for him to be that small. Man, I think well, he ain't small, six feet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think. B. Roy kind of falls in that category with like Grant Hill and um, right. Oh man, Tracy McGrady is like man, you never yeah, know like, who they were gonna be right. Like like Grant or like or like Penny. Like you seen what happened, but they just you know it was just injuries kind of took some of their best years away yeah. from them. Right, right, right. You seen the potential. Okay. Um, next question: Who was your? Uh, and I know you probably got more than one, but who was the most? Um, who was the most difficult person to guard, and who was the first person to just to just cook you? Just when you was like, I can't, like I can't do nothing like about him. Like I'm like I'm trying okay. everything. All right, well that was my first practice. Quintel Woods. Like, okay. Oh God, Quintel. <laughs> oh man, he was a walking bucket. Man. Right. Oh, I played man. against Quintel in uh in uh Poland. I was I had my boy here from Poland. Yeah, he was yeah. In Poland with uh, Travis Best. So yeah, Quintel was a bucket. <laughs> Yeah, he was a walking man. I walked in, man. He was, he, you know, he was, he was doing his thing, you know. And that, it's like, and then it was just different. Like I had Ruben Patterson, like his oh, offense. Yeah. Was, was, I mean, his offense pretty cool, but you just knew you were gonna get a physical defensive present from him. So like playing against him, oh man, it was, it was just it was a rocky road, you know, building right. up to where I finally got my shine to kind of play a little bit. Right. So and then now, now who was the hardest to guard? Just somebody. That, oh, from know. another team, uh, Kobe was hard. Kobe was very hard. I mean, but I'm pretty sure the world know Kobe was a hard guard. Um, How was that like, like, because, you know, a lot of people don't get experience there. Like, what was that when you finally just checked into the game and you was like, I'm guarding, like, I'm guarding Kobe or I'm guard, you know, like, I'm guarding. Well, secretly in my mind, I wanted to foul the shit out of him. To right. just kind of get the jitteries out, like, to get the jitteries out of me. You know, like, right. okay, let me, let me, let me just go out here. here. I'm yeah, here. like I'm here. I'm like, what's up? Yeah, right. Yeah. But man, it's man when he catch the ball. Oh goodness, it's, it's like a. I tell people it's like his his. It, I mean, it shows in his attitude. He's finna try to score, you know, and you know he's finna try to score, and he's doing everything in his power, you know. And it ain't like the other guys that hold the ball and get to hold it for three seconds. Kobe will hold it for twelve, you know, and right. trying to guard Kobe for twelve seconds. That's, that's one of the toughest things I ever, you know. That that right. that's hard. And he got the whole, and he got the whole floor to himself, oh, like running. Yeah, up, yeah. <laughs> by himself, right. Like so, you yeah. say, you look at, you looking that's over. Is feeling. anybody gonna show? Is somebody gonna come help? Yeah, what right. a help coming in. That's <laughs> a scary feeling to be to be on an island with a uh, with a beam, man. So yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Oh, but no, like, uh, shoot, Tracy McGrady. Oh yeah, man, Matt, I, yeah. I remember like yesterday, like I man, I ripped Tracy, went down the court and one screaming. Right, right. And he walked by me and said, Let's get it, you know. And I was like, Okay, all was right, that, what, um, you know? was that the game when you dunked on Yao too? Uh I can't re- I may be, I don't know. I they kind of run together now. Okay, <laughs> okay. Cause I mean, right. okay, yeah. Yeah, but Yow man, too. he walked by me, he said, Let's get it. Man, he took me through a, a workout. Right. <laughs> he did a curl, <laughs> a layup. <laughs> yeah, T Mac was yeah, tough. Man, uh, Came off the screen, faded to the corner, three. Pump was this face. um was this Orlando Tracy or uh? Rock- no, no, this this was the Houston Rocket Tracy. Okay, this was the Rocket <laughs> Tracy. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. that Tracy. This is one that way he said when he went when uh, when he played against Utah, man, I gave you know gave it all in his stat line. I almost was a triple double, you know. <laughs> right, right, gave it all. Yeah, man, no. man but yeah. Oh man, he like that. What I said, like good players, man. I, I remember going rip him. I hated that. I felt like I was running the whole game. You right know, it was just, man. I ain't never seen a man use that many screens. Right. <laughs> never get tired. Just keep right. running. Right. Right. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. of course, you played, and I've asked this before. If if you was a um, GM and you got to pick any five guys to, to start your team that played in the league, point guard to uh, center, who's your who's your starting five? Okay, what era are we going with? Like, are we saying, is we going with physicality? Like, are we saying, 
It's anything. the ref letting things go. Is the tech like you know? Anything you like, you the GM, and you get the and you got the first five of anybody that don't play. Ah, uh, okay. Well, oh, uh, uh, mm. that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking I'm going with a center. Like I'm probably pick a center. I probably pick Shaq. Shaq, you know? oh yeah, Shaq. Yeah, got the I just feel like he he's one person that I don't think nobody could ever really guard. You know. Right. Right, and then after, then after that, you know, of course, Michael Jordan get in there. Okay, um, on the wing. I, yeah, I probably put LeBron at point guard. Okay, that's the second time uh, I, that I heard that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the three. Oh, I don't know who I can put at the three. I don't know who I can put at the three, but I, I'm thinking KD. He's KD. a good spot up, and right. he got the height. Right. And then at the four, uh, either Tim Duncan or Kevin Garnett. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like that five. You got shooting that's <laughs> high yeah. That's a good five yeah. right there. You uh, know, we can run when we have to, you know? Right. Okay. I got – Um. I appreciate that, bro. And I got two more – hold on. I got, I got two more things, and then I, I'm going uh, to get off here and not waste too much more of your time. Um, All right. When uh when you got you know got to the league, what was your first crazy buy like something? Now you bought it was just like damn like, like something that you just splurged on because you know because you because you had it. It's like first thing that you bought was just like. Oh man, probably, I mean that was probably my Cadillac Escalade probably. Yeah, you know, I remember I, you had the uh with the yeah. uh, spinner with the uh, with the, with the spinner. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, when right. when I went all out on the Escalade, that was probably about. After that, pretty. I, I'm always been kind of a frugal guy, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, but but that was. I mean, you, you was you was 18, 19, and, and just had something just to go, you know, <laughs> had something to go get. Grab DJ, y'all. Truck coming too. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, hey. oh, oh, okay. That's true. Hey. You got his little man. He all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travis, he got his. He got his little man out there with him, uh, walking. So yeah, no, I was saying um, after. The, oh yeah, so you said that the Escalade that was like your first just crazy, crazy. Yeah, just, well, I mean, it wasn't cra- I, I really needed a vehicle, but I mean, I could have, you know, I could have made that Audi work, you know. But right, I- <laughs> right. But you, but you, but you needed some size. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, last yeah. thing, I'm gonna put you uh, on the spot with this one. This one might rattle some cages. Now, who's your Who's your star of a high starting five? Oh, man. Now, I know. Uh, <laughs> now, okay. I'm probably going to – Carlos Joy. Yeah. Like, now, now, hold up. Like, some people probably going to get left off, but, like, it's just a lot of people. Like, we got a lot of talent that, and not the brag that came through. So, that's why I just kind of put them on the spot to kind of – just to kind of start a debate. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm thinking Carlos Joy. Yep, Carlos. Uh, I always like Mario Duck game. Mario, okay. Uh, All right. Mario. Mario was versatile too. Yeah. Inside out. Now I would put my brother on there, but you know he trans trans. Alexander. He went to yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. Alexander, yeah. yeah. yeah but um, probably Mario Duck, Carlos Joy. Yeah, Mario Carlos. Um, I probably have you at the three. Okay. Uh, and then um, shoot, I'm. I uh, mean, you know, I can't think. I think Ref, Ref, Raphael Edwards. You got Ralph for the four man. Okay, so you got size. Yeah, and, you got and I'd fitness. be in the five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, some people. Okay, but like now, now, honestly, now people don't know. There's a whole. We could name you a whole another five that could come like behind that five and and could. And, and yeah, could, and, and, and yeah, like and not, like be. Black. It, I, that's what I say. I don't know if I can think pick Black as a point guard, but, point guard, or a shooting guard. Right, but think about that. Like, if you leave that five right there that you just said, now you got Blackie, you got Tyson, you got Tavis. Yeah. You know what? I forgot all about Tyson. I don't know why Tate I forgot Will, about Tyson. You got Gavin, you got yeah. Jacoby. So Hold on. Let me put Tyson at point guard. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let me put Tyson at you point got, guard. Yeah. Let me put Tyson at point guard. You got a whole oh, other man. five that could come in and could, and could compete with the five that you just Yeah, said. like, so, I mean, don't I say you got Tay. You got, I mean, it's a lot of good. It's a lot. Yeah. I think we we for us to be a football town, we produce some. Hoops. Yeah, shout out to Tabo. I'm a, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Tabers on here too. But yeah, bro, man, that's all. I um I'm gonna end it on that, man. I, um I, I appreciate you coming on. You know, every, every time I come home, we always link up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things, you know, I've been knowing your folks as long as, as I've been in Starver. So 
Glad to know, right. uh, you know, I'm just glad that we can kind of go back down memory lane and talk about some of the stuff that we went through in high school. Right, right, we, right. We, uh, came through Starver High, and um, I'm going to wish you nothing but the best, uh, best bro. All right, appreciate it, Nabi. Okay. Stay up, man. Okay, bro. All right. All right.